What's up ninjas, it's me again Sarah Snitch here to give you more tips and tricks for playing arcade mode on Fruit Ninja Free. In my last episode I went over some of the blades you can play with when you're just starting out and in this episode I'm gonna go over my favorite dojos. Just to make things really simple I'm gonna use the basic blade paired with each dojo and let's start off with one of the beginning novice dojos, the Fruit Ninja, which gives you one point extra per combo. Let's see how that works out. Got the basic Fruit Ninja logo on the back. Ooh, a little rusty. Like I said in my last episode, I like to let all the fruit kind of float and reach the top of their arc before I slice them. Oop, to avoid bombs like that and also to line up more combos. See, it gave me an extra point for that combo, another one there. So if you're good at getting combos, even just basic three point combos, this might be a good dojo for you to use. Oop, gotta get that freeze banana and bonus star fruit. Always wanna get those because that's what you use to buy more dojos and more blades. Another freeze banana. Freeze has to probably be my favorite banana in the game. I especially love it when it's paired with the frenzy banana because then it gets some really, really big combos. Right, I'm doing okay this round, but I'm someone who, unless I'm using certain blades, oh, I missed that banana. Unless I'm using certain blades, I don't really get huge combos and I haven't gotten a frenzy this whole time. So I usually just get three points, which is fine because I'm still getting the extra point, but I didn't, I mean, I'm nowhere near my highest score with that. 355, not bad, not bad at all. So if you're good at consistently getting combos, that might be a good dojo for you to use, but let's look at another one. Next up, we're gonna use actually my favorite dojo, which is the Great Wave Dojo. It gives you a chance of 10 fruit mega waves. And when they say chance, they mean absolutely. It happens multiple times per game. And that's how I get huge combos because I'm not really good at getting more than three point combos. Here it goes, just 10 fruit up in a row. I got seven that time, it came right back again a second time two great waves in a row. I got a seven point combo. Ooh, I missed a banana, I was looking at the camera. Seven point combo and an eight point combo in a row. And it'll do it a bunch more times per game. It's amazing. Um, I love pairing it with my favorite, the um, Red Blade, because it gives critical hit extra bonuses, but it's great just on its own as well. Here it goes again, Whoosh, nine point combo. It's great, like my score is already better than it was with the last dojo, which just gave me an extra point per combo. It just, it's my favorite dojo by far. Eight point combo. And another time, just so many times in a row. And sometimes they come right after another. Don't think I'll get it again for the rest of the game because I only have five more seconds. But I got it like, what, four or five times that time? Three or four times? I don't even know. Get that pomegranate. And my score was almost double what I got with the other dojo. So Great Wave is a personal favorite of mine. I'm sure a lot of you use it pretty frequently. It's the business. But I have more dojos to try. Let's see what's up next. The Yin Yang, which in arcade mode, which we are playing, gives you 10 extra seconds. Extra seconds means extra points. So let's see how that one goes. We've got the yin yang background. So I, as you can see, we just start with the 10 extra seconds at the beginning. It doesn't give it to you at the very end or anything. You just have them from the start. And other than that, it's just a basic game of Fruit Ninja. Oops. Just a basic game of Fruit Ninja unless you're using a special blade, which I'm not just to keep things pretty basic. Frenzy banana. Ooh, yes. Oh, 10 fruit combo when combining Frenzy with Frozen Banana. Ugh, I love it when those two bananas are mixed together. It's literally the best. Here it is again. Will I get so lucky? Probably not. No Frozen Banana coming my way here. It's hard for me to see all of them in a Frenzy unless I have a Frozen Banana. But I'm doing pretty well this time, but I think it's just, it was just the bananas and not so much the dojo. But extra time does help, so I can't discredit that. Here we go, it's the end of the game. Get that pomegranate. And we're done. 
So I actually did just as well as when I was doing Great Wave, so I can't knock this dojo one bit. Last but not least, we have the Truffles Dojo, which gives you bonus crates that have goodies inside. And if you look at the power-ups, the power-ups include Berry Blast, which gives you five extra points, and Peachy Time, which gives you extra seconds. And those are what are in the prize crates, just FYI. But you will see as we use this dojo right now. What I find difficult about this is that when you open up one of the crates, it's hard to then um, hit what's inside of it because you essentially have to hit it twice. And it kind of messes up my chances of getting combos. I'm waiting for one to come up. Oh, see, there it is. And, the, and then the star fruit just fell right out of it and I almost missed it. So if that happened again, I got it in the combo, but then I had to go back and get the, the star fruit inside. So if you're going for a combo, sometimes it's confusing to see what's happening on the screen. And sometimes I kind of even miss what's inside of the crate. So it's not my favorite, but it is great because you're getting those power up items without having to pay star fruit for them. So if you're someone who likes using them, which I definitely do, um, it's an option so you don't have to pay for power ups each game. You just pay for the dojo once and you don't have to worry about power ups ever again. I didn't do the best on that one. What are you gonna do? Just for giggles, I'm gonna pair my favorite dojo, which is the Great Wave, which my, with my favorite blade, which is the Shiny Red. These are my favorite combination of blade and dojo, and it gives me the best score, so let's see how it goes. Off to a good start with a four point combo. Oops, hit a bomb. That's my bad. Waiting for that great wave to come, am I right? Here it is. Whoosh. Eight point combo. And again, all when I have the bonus banana. What an awesome run, I got 200 points there. Sick. Here it is. Ooh, first, oh, I missed the banana! Oh, I got too distracted by the wave and I missed the banana. Well, not my best score, but as you can see, I have a high score of 1136, and I did get that score by using the shiny red matched with the Great Wave Dojo. Those are my two favorite of the dojos and the blades to use together, at least when you are at the level I am, which is not to level 24 yet. When you hit level 24, you get a whole new set of blades that you can use that I haven't unlocked yet. But when I do, you'll bet that I'll make a video on it. And then of course for dojos, there are certain ones that you can buy with actual money, this Ghostbusters one uh, in honor of the movie coming out. But my personal favorite dojo is definitely the Great Wave. I'm interested in hearing which dojo you like using the best in the comments section down below. Be sure to follow us on Twitter so we can talk about which blades and dojos work best together and hear more tips and tricks for playing Fruit Ninja Free. Until next time, I'm Sarah Snitch and uh, keep slicing those fruit ninjas. Bye.